Hi everybody, my name is Zoe and welcome to Fighting Your Me. Today's video is turning out a lot different than what I had hoped, to be honest. I uh, was hoping to do a video that ended with major results and you know, so exciting. <laughs> Um, focusing on one particular thing and it's turned out to be something quite different so this week I was trying to do a video to show you the good effects of doing a particular Slimming World eating plan and its effects on my health um, I'm taking, I've taken loads of measurements, etc. So it was literally just going to be that. It was going to be me following this diet for the week. These were my measurements at the beginning of the week. This is what they are at the end of the week. Instead, it's turned into really showing the challenges that someone with CFS ME has with eating well. Uh, the challenges we have sticking to uh, a, a good eating regime, challenges we have preparing food, challenges we have eating food. So while the outcome of this video isn't what I hoped it was going to be at the beginning, I think it's still worth sharing because it, it does show these challenges. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the video. You'd have seen from uh, just a few minutes ago what we should have been eating today. Let me just open this up. Uh, so today we should have started the day with some nice cold water with some lemon. Well, we both woke up really late, so that didn't happen. Breakfast supposed to be apricots, blueberries, and strawberries and yogurt. I had everything apart from the apricots. I couldn't get any apricots. Um, so I need to go shopping for some apricots. Two satsumas, I had those. Lunch, carrot and ginger soup with four rovitas and four dairy triangles. Now, yesterday we had the Christmas everyday bake and there was so much of it left over that we ended up having that for lunch today instead. Uh, but it was so filling. <laughs> I had that and I had like my four Rivita and the triangles because I needed to as part of the actual, the way Slimming World works. But yeah, it was so filling. We've both come home tonight and tonight we were supposed to have this bacon, bean and mozzarella salad. And we both looked at it uh, in the book and we're like, we can't eat that. that <laughs> It's too much. Uh, so, what I this is my dinner. I have apple with peanut butter, a quarter of a pi uh, pineapple. That's not a pineapple. It's a melon. There we go. A uh, quarter of a pat pelon. I'm tired. Quarter of a melon, and then I'm treating myself to this raspberry donut flavoured yoghurt. <laughs> I can't have a donut. I'm going to have something that tastes like a donut. And then I have to wash it down my really gorgeous yummy Twinings sleep tea. And I think this has apple, cinnamon, chamomile and passion flower in it. And it is really, really delicious. I normally just drink chamomile tea, but this this is perfect. 
perfect. So yeah, it's been a bit the best laid plans of mice and men today. It's uh, I had all the plans and it hasn't really worked out. Tomorrow, uh, I've got some soup in the fridge that we need to eat. So we're gonna have soup for lunch as, as we're supposed to. Um, so hopefully tomorrow night, we'll have what's on plan for dinner. <laughs> this is how it goes though. You eat so much on Slimming World. And you get to a point where you're just like, I can't eat anymore. And you have to see how it goes. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to eat this. Um, I'm going to do some editing. And then hopefully we're going to find this Meghan and Harry documentary that I've been hearing about. Um, I'm a severe Royals fan. I love the Royals. I love everything about them. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get a little bit of that tonight. And then if I can stay awake and the cloud the cloud isn't sky the sky isn't cloudy there's supposed to be a severely epic meteor shower tonight around 11 30 so and as you can see in my telescope behind me I do love anything to do with the night sky so we'll see what happens and uh, I'll let you know tomorrow bye So we're on day two. Yeah, so today's gone a lot better than yesterday. I'm a lot happier with what I've eaten today. So again, we didn't have the cold water with lemon first thing. I think that's gonna be something that maybe doesn't happen, but I am drinking cold water with lemon now. Um, I had my fruit and my yogurt for breakfast, as I should have, and I had soup for lunch with my Ravita and my Dairy Lee. So everything went as planned. This evening we've got a uh, chicken and spring vegetable bake looked amazing when I put it together cooked it and it doesn't look that good um, I'm gonna try and there's quite a lot of fluid so but it just looks a little bit limp <laughs> that's the only way I can put it hopefully it's gonna taste better than it looks um, but we'll give it a go and see what happens so yeah onwards So today I'm working from home, um, I have the option of doing this once a week uh, to give me a break from the lights and the noise of the office and to give me a break from the commute. Uh, very tired today, I was very bouncy yesterday and the day before a bit of a crash now but it's better not being in the office I probably find it quite hard to cope in the office today um, I usually um, we have our box room is we've turned into an office and I'm usually set up there but uh, we've got someone coming to fix a dishwasher today so I'm set up in the dining room which is where I have my PC for um, the fighting ME vlogging anyway, so that's fine. I'm a little bit concerned about the diet. I'm I'm a daily weigher. I know I shouldn't be. You should weigh once a week at maximum, less if possible. But I've always done it, and I probably always will do it. So. And normally, like when you do, when I've done Slimming World, the normal program, I tend to lose weight, lose weight consistently day after day. And it, and it doesn't come off in huge amounts, but you know, drips and drabs. But there is a very defined downward trend in my weight loss throughout the week. But doing the uh, SP, I haven't really been seeing that. 
and I would have expected to have seen some by now because the SP is supposed to accelerate your weight loss. But I'll carry on anyway and, and see what how it goes throughout the week. I've also noticed I'm in a lot of pain in my stomach. Um, I'm up to a 10 today, which is sort of the maximum on my scale. And I'm not sure if that's to do with the, the diet or if I'm just having a bad pain day. Uh, I have got sugar withdrawals, I think. My head is particularly painful at the moment, so. But that's a good thing. If I can get through those, that's that's better for me because it means I'm not craving, you know, chocolate and biscuits and stuff. So yeah, well, I will carry on with it and I'll crack on and see how it goes. I'm I'm really hoping for the best, but today I think it's going to be a tough day because I'm really not feeling 100% on that. Anyway, I will crack on with work and I'll probably, I can't even speak, I will probably vlog later on today as I have been the last couple of days just to show what dinner's like. It's supposed to be satay chicken tonight. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. My stomach is so painful. We shall see. Okay, bye. I've been in so much pain today. <sighs> Days like this I just want to give up and just crawl under a rock somewhere and stay there. I literally feel as though I've had something ripping apart my stomach all day. Basically I'm having to just have fluids today because every time I try and eat something it makes the pain worse. Um, so I tried to, I had soup for lunch and I tried to have some right with it. It was too bad. The pain was just too bad so. I've finished work now so I can take some painkillers, some decent ones, without having to worry about getting drowsy. This is such a life we lead, isn't it? Hopefully things will be better tomorrow. night. I'm still absolutely exhausted. I'm so tired I was thinking it was Friday all day. So I'm cheating. I've got to check out the Sims for this. But healthy-ish fast food. It's better than chips or McDonald's or pizza. Well, I say better. Healthier. <laughs> but uh, there we go.
So I went shopping for uh, a treat for dinner tonight. Um, we're going to have a bolognese with butternut squash ribbons instead of pasta because I'm still doing SP. But then as a treat, we've got some parmesan cheese. What is called pecorine? I don't know what this is, but hopefully it's parmesan. Just a little bit to go on the top. I thought that was treating us. Husband decides to treat us. Look at all this. <laughs> so we have, oh, well, it's good bread, but a lot of it, it's fine. My favourite, pate. Ale, wine, the copper burger is for me because I don't drink, so it's alcohol free. I will look up the synergy on this because I do actually want to eat half this tonight. <laughs> Um, my favourite cheese, Roulet. Um, you did get light cheese, so that's cool. And reduced fat hummus. And tzatziki and cheese slices. So it's not horrendous, but not for today, because I do want to keep going with this SP thing. So uh, hopefully we'll have this after my weigh-in. We're on day five of the eating plan. I didn't record yesterday because I just wasn't well enough. I had to go to bed. So today was fruit and yogurt again for breakfast, soup for lunch, and then something called brick chicken with pesto and beans was supposed to be for dinner. Well, the fruit and yogurt happened. <laughs> Because I've not been feeling very well for a couple of days now. I've been feeling really rough. I've been in an extreme amount of pain. And I just wanted comfort food today. I really did. So I ended up having a cheese and marmite sandwich for my lunch. Um, but I've been good for dinner. It's homemade bolognese with, I don't know if you can see this, homemade bolognese with um, butternut squash ribbons instead of pasta to keep it SP and a little sprinkling of cheese as a treat and uh, yeah it's all homemade so I'm going to dig into this now so as you can see uh, the past week has been very challenging uh, I have to say I've not felt that poorly in quite a while and I think that it was a combination of I was trying to do too much. The, you know, the, the meal prep alone was quite exhausting. So I think going forwards, I need to find a way around that. I was also trying to do a lot at work, uh, more than I would usually do. So that had an impact as well. I think overall I just put a little bit too much pressure on myself, uh, which I do a lot. I expect a lot of myself and I really do feel guilty when I can't hold myself up to the standards I want to hold myself to. But overall, you know, it wasn't a wasted experience. My blood pressure has come down. My BMI has slightly come down. I mean, in a week, what are you gonna expect? It's come down from 44.7 to 44.6. My body fat has gone from 59.9% uh, to 59.7%. My cholesterol hasn't changed at all. So I think you have, to, it needs more time. I've lost half an inch off my chest and half an inch off my hips. My waist is completely the same. My blood sugar levels have reduced significantly. My weight, I've only lost half a pound. But as you can tell from the video, I wasn't sticking to it properly. Uh, so, uh, yeah, lessons I've learnt is I was using too many sins. I didn't realise on a, an SP day you should use less sins. Uh, so I was having my usual 13 odd. Some days it's creeping up a little bit more. So I think uh, 
that was big big factor on it um so i'm not overall dis well i am disappointed a little bit because i was hoping that i'd be able to stick to it all week and get massive results but unfortunately it was not meant to be <laughs> um but i'm going to continue with swimming world my official weigh-in day is on tuesday i'll continue monitoring the various things but not on a daily basis i'll report back every now and then so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next week bye